Hello, good morning. I probably have a really bad bed head, but that's okay, because I don't even have to do my hair today. Today, what is today, Benny? What What is today, Ben? What is, to, is today, good doggy photo shoot day? <coughs> it is, today is your day. <laughs> Come with Ben and I on his first big guy doggy photo shoot. Yay! I'm having breakfast. I'm having mango, and I'm having turkey bacon with maple syrup. <laughs> there you go. This is what I'm eating to start, and then I'll decide where I want to go from here. We've got leftover pad thai. It's quite alluring. And uh, I've got coffee somewhere. I may be sitting in the exact same spot, but I have progressed, right? I'm wearing new clothes. Always, always, if you ever have a professional photo shoot and you're getting your makeup done, and then changing into your outfit. Wear a zip front, you will thank me. Makes it so much easier. Um, I have washed my face, did some last minute self tanner with the Saint Tropez watermelon gradual self tanner. I'm having a little bit of pad thai for breakfast. Second done. breakfast. Second <laughs> breakfast. Build up for the day. Got a long shoot ad. Ben, ben says, what are you talking about, it's my shoot. <laughs> you are, yes, you are Ben, aren't you? Yes, you are. Good, good, good. <laughs> ah, hello, um, I, want to avoid any confusion as many of you have probably already seen on my other social platforms um, Ben is sick right now and he is unable to work currently I am with Kane and uh, so I don't want to you know create confusion with this video this video was filmed about three or four weeks ago um, before Ben was sick and you know, watching this footage back for me, like I just wish I could transport myself back into May um, when I had Ben and he was healthy and everything was fine, but unfortunately that isn't the case currently. Um, I really, really appreciate all of the thoughts and prayers you guys have been sending my way and please keep them coming. Um, I miss him so much. It's been really, really hard. Um, that said, I'm constantly being asked, how is Ben? How is Ben? Do you have any updates? And that's pretty triggering for me right now because honestly, I'm trying to not think about it. Um, I'm trying to just distract myself with the move and um, not think about it because if I think about it, it consumes my every thought and I become an anxious mess. So while I appreciate all of you thinking of him, um, just know that when I have updates and when I'm ready to share them, I will come to you. You guys will be the first to know when I'm ready to share and when I know more. Because right now I'm living in limbo as much as you are and I hate it for both of us. So um, I am supposed to receive updates today. I am very anxiously awaiting a phone call. Um, literally have like my unicorn fidget toy in my hand I'm just like because I am waiting so yes if I had more info right now I would share it but I don't so I'm waiting just as much as you guys are but please keep the good prayers and thoughts coming and I I know all of you are asking because you are so worried about him and me and again I do appreciate that but it's also really triggering every time I open any of my social media and I go to look at the comments and it's just, how's Ben, where's Ben, is Ben coming back, how's Ben doing? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, so I'm just trying not to think about it. But that said, Ben would be oh so excited to hear what I'm about to tell all of you about and that is today's sponsor, Cradle. Cradle makes pet supplements. So if you have an anxious little friend, Cradle is the company for you that you should definitely check out. They sell two types of products. They sell CBD products and non-CBD products. I personally don't give my animals CBD, but if you do, more power to you. Uh, mine enjoy the non-CBD variety, which you can find the non-CBD ones available at Walmart. And then you can find all of the Cradle products at cradlemypet.com. You can actually go to cradlemypet.com slash molly to get 20% off your entire Cradle order. And if within seven days of using the product, you don't see a reduction in stress or anxious behaviors in your animal, then the Cradle team will work with you to find a new solution or even completely refund your order. And this is really great with the 4th of July coming up because 4th of July is the highest day of the year for dogs running away from home. Because of course, 
All of the loud booms can cause a lot of anxious and stressful tendencies in dogs. Over 40 million dogs in America struggle with anxious behaviors. And the number could be even higher because a lot of people just don't know what to look for in their pets. Um, so this is a huge issue and it can be related to things like fireworks or thunderstorms or separation anxiety travel. There's so many reasons that um, dogs can deal with stress behaviors or anxiety and treating them just like treating humans is really important so it doesn't become something bigger or more problematic. And if you order before June 28th, you will get your 4th of July pack on time, which is awesome and with that discount. Who doesn't like 20% off, am I right? Especially if you can get a full refund if it doesn't work. Like it does not get better. I actually have a friend whose dog really, really, really struggles with anxiety for like all of the above reasons I listed. And I got her the CBD pack um, for her to try and she's super excited about it. Cradle also uses human grade ingredients and sources them from some of the best places around the world. There's no artificial colors. It's all natural flavors, which is amazing. And they also give back, which I think is so important and I absolutely love. They partner with organizations across the country to send out adoption packs, which it gives supplements to the dogs that allow them to transition more smoothly and ease anxiety going from shelters to their new adoptive forever homes. And again, you can go to cradlemypet.com slash molly for 20% off your entire order and order before the 28th so that your puppy can be calm this 4th of July because we don't need any more dogs running away, okay? We really don't. We want to keep our puppies close. So be safe this 4th of July with your animals. Give them all the love and support. And back to the Benny video. The cute little Benny guys. Just, just look at him. He's so stinking cute. Okay, so we've arrived. My mom, who is such a such a queen, she's Queen Bee Neve. She was doing. <laughs> she is craft services, which is the food. She is wardrobe. Um, she is wrangler of dog and human. Um, and so I am now getting Caller my hair and makeup. lift. Collar of lift. <laughs> I'm now, managing the lift. <laughs> I'm getting my hair and makeup done, and um, she like set up all the clothes and the food and everything. Ben is having a good run around. He's very he keeps, happy. He keeps like coming up and nudging me, which is he's like, "Hi, mommy, you're doing okay? Are you excited for my photo shoot? <laughs> you can come in. You can do the keep doing the makeup. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm very used to uh, hair, makeup, and talking. Aren't we, Benny? Yes. Ben was getting a feel for the uh, studio. It's nice and big, which is fantastic. Oh, apparently there's a coffee shop across the way that is a bunny ben, coffee shop. Ben, I'm ben. sure you've heard of the cat coffee shop. This is a bunny coffee shop. Is Benny getting in everybody's way? Oh. I can just feel a tail fan. And these are the snacks and lunch. And I see somebody sniffing over here. Okay, first look is complete. I've got the first outfit on. It's like this fun little weird blouse, I love it, it's so cute. And then we have Benny in a red bandana, looking so handsome on his yellow background. I realize I haven't even told you guys what this shoot is for. Um, basically, whenever I'm doing an event or I'm featured in an article, they always ask for professional photos. So I always have to provide professional photos. And the last shoot I did, where these photos are from, um, oh my gosh, hair, <laughs> hair in my mouth. Um, is that a lavender hair or Ben hair? Uh, who knows? There's so many hairs around our place. Um, but the Gallup was retired, but I didn't have Ben yet. And so they're just photos of me. And they always want photo professional photos of me with my guide dog, which I don't have any. So today we are changing that and making sure we have professional photos with Benny, which is why really this is Ben's shoot, not mine. This is his first ever with me professional photo shoot. You've been on a professional film set, and now it's your first photo shoot. Get ready, buddy. Lots of treats. He knows it. Lots of treats are coming. Here we're seeing Molly and Ben pose together on a yellow backdrop, and then a gray backdrop, striking all their poses, taking all their fabulous photos. Nineties jams are playing. I always ask for nineties pop music whenever I do any kind of shoot because it's just my vibe. Okay, I want Spice Girls. I want In Sync. I want Britney. I want all of it when I'm like getting in my zone. First look is done. We have wrapped on full body. We have wrapped on tight close-up shots, and now we're moving on to the next look. Here, Molly poses solo in pink. 
we just did some close-up shots of just me in this second outfit and Ben was very upset. Uh, he was like, <coughs> <coughs> he just kept like walking on to set like, hello, the star is here. And we were like, soon Ben. Um, so now we're just changing the background, gonna do a little hair change, staying in the same outfit, but with you. Yes, and you will be in these ones, that's right. Um, so I think Ben likes being a model more than he likes being a guy dog. He's like, mm -hmm. this is my true calling, celebrity doggy. And there's Molly's wardrobe for the day. And there's Ben's, right? Hey, Ben. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Here Molly and Ben are on a white backdrop. Molly is still in the same pink outfit and they are posing up a storm. <laughs> What's the problem, girl? <laughs> oh my god, it is so windy. It is so muddy under this like grass. Like I am just like Let's see your feet. I have like <laughs> I have like this train on my pastel dress. My bangs are blowing in the wind. It might look sunny, I am frigid. <laughs> <laughs> All the prices you pay for those pretty photos you see on Instagram. <laughs> you know what, I'm realizing being a model is not as glamorous as I thought. It's really not. You do get lots of treats though. Here, Molly and Ben take the photo shoot outside onto this beautiful green field. Molly starting in a pastel pink dress and then switching into a deeper pink two-piece shirt and skirt combo with black flower. Ah, oh, the shoot is done. We got five looks in total. Um, so I feel really good about that. I'm super excited. Ben did such a great job, didn't he, Mom? Oh, he's fantastic. He was incredible. The whole team was incredible. This is my second time shooting with the same team. They were awesome. And uh, unfortunately, the day ended with a bit of a low. Uh, my Uber driver denied me access with my guide dog. Uh, we did message him ahead of time to let him know that I was blind. When he arrived, he put all of our lots of stuff from the photo shoot in the car, all the clothes and stuff that we had with us. Um, then looked at me and realized that my guide dog is there because I'm blind and uh, argued with me. I told him it's human rights law. I told him that it is Uber and Lyft's policy, that it is something you agree to when you sign on to become a driver, um, that this is not a pet. There is no additional fees. I don't have to request the pet friendly cars. Like I went through all the stuff with him. He argued back as he removed all of the stuff from the car and then it's happened. funny, I had a bad feeling about him. This well, also, something. when we, like, when he was pulling up, he's like, can you guys go to the other side of the street? Like, and we were like, could you just pull over? Because we had a huge suitcase. Me, the dog, and a big cart filled with, like, all the food and stuff. Yeah. Leftover food and whatever. And, um, he was, we were like, can you pull around to us? Because we have a lot of stuff. And also, like, that's the address we gave you. And he's like, no, you're going to have to come to me. We were like, okay. So then we like lugged all of our stuff up to the crosswalk across the street, back or over to the parking lot where he pulled in. And then that happened. So that sucks, but. Um, he said the other side was, um, you weren't allowed to park, but there's which so was, many cars there. It was like, yes, you are. And the, uh, the photographer who was helping us, he was like, no, you are. My car is parked right there. You oh, can we had a still big pull space over. And yeah, there was a big open gap where he could have pulled. Like there was no reason. It was just a negative driver. Yeah, it's a real negative experience. But um, sadly, it's something I'm super used to. And thankfully, today I am in a really positive mood and mindset. So it didn't upset me too much. Um, but definitely something you gotta deal with a lot as a guide dog user and it sucks. We got the lipstick fam. Okay, my makeup artist for today couldn't stay for the whole shoot. Um, so she left the lip that she had put on me. I'm obsessed. I need to go buy more of these. Okay, this might become like one of my holy grail lipsticks. It's Charlotte Tilbury. I've only tried one Charlotte Tilbury product in my whole life in this video and it did not go well. If you saw that video, it did not go well. And so, um, this is only my second time trying Charlotte Tilbury, but I've been getting super curious about trying more of this brand. And this sold me. Like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. It's the Pillow Talk lipstick, and it's like a hyaluronic acid lipstick. It is so hydrating and comfortable and easy to apply, and it's just absolutely everything. Obsessed with that. Also, you have no idea how many times I have, like, filmed drivers denying me and filmed full-on fights with them 
Um, one of my recent favorites was when the guy threatened to call the cops on me. Um, and then I told him to go ahead and he called his wife. <laughs> he called his wife? He called his wife. I was like, oh, big tough man. Was it by mistake? No. He called his wife to complain to her while I was sitting in his car. And the funniest thing is I was in the car with Ben already by the time he cho chose to deny me. And I'm sitting in there and I was like, sir, we've been sitting here for 15 minutes arguing with each other about who's right. My, my place that I'm trying to get to is 10 minutes from here. So I've been in the car for longer than the distance it would have taken you to drive me there. Like he then um, proceeded to tell me that I was faking blind, that I'm a fake disabled person. I'm not disabled, that service dogs or that guide dogs are not equivalent to any other mobility aid, like a walker, a wheelchair, which they are like literally by law, they are. It is my mobility aid. It is the same thing. And um, yeah, so that was a really fun one. And then when he drove off, he screamed at me, F my D but he used the real words, like screamed down the streets of Los Angeles. It was really cute. Um, that's one of my most recent faves. And I get <laughs> all of this stuff on, on camera. Like I, I'm always at the ready. We are ready to film always. So that way when we report to Uber and Lyft, we like provide absolute clear evidence with the license plate, all this stuff. And I've thought so many times, should I show people this? Like, should I show people how insane some of these are? Like, this was frankly, like, a pretty mundane interaction. We didn't capture, like, a ton of the, like, crazy part of it. And even, like, the most intense part of our arguing wasn't super crazy, like, compared to some of my experiences where it's been wild. Um, but uh, I'm always, this is what's so crazy about, like, ableism and discrimination. I have been so trained by an ableist society to believe that I am the problem. And even though I know that I'm not, I still never want to show these things to you guys because I'm like, oh, I feel bad. I don't want to like put this person on blast. I don't want to ruin well, their life. this guy had a mask on, so that probably helps. You know, I'm like, I'm always just like, I don't want to ruin that person's career. I don't want to ruin their life. Like, they're probably a good person. Maybe they're just having a bad day. Like, I always try to give people the benefit of the doubt, which is so stupid. They're being ableist. Like, I should call these people out. Because without calling people out, like, we're not going to see change. People need to be held accountable by society. And I don't want anything bad to happen to this guy. But we, like, this person is an example of, of so many other people. I also had another wild experience recently. And I've considered sitting down and making an entire video sharing that situation with some like tips and tricks for safety because it was actually like very scary and could have been a very unsafe situation for me um but i used a lot of like techniques to keep myself safe in the, in the experience because i was uh, riding alone so if you guys would like safety tips and tricks as a blind uber and lyft user um that could just also be applicable to anybody um and kind of like some stories of experiences I've had and how I've dealt with them like let me know I could do a whole video on that if it's of interest anyways um I have like 30 minutes before I need to get dressed into my gym clothes I'm heading to the gym if you haven't checked out my workout routine check it out I'm gonna have some mint tea and uh get dressed and ready to go to the gym then I think I'm going to hit the hot tub for some relaxation and I even though I just washed my hair yesterday I think I need to wash it again because there's just so much like product in it you know my mom just like got up to walk away and I was like, oh wait, um, Ben, f or sorry, Gallup freaked out when we got home, didn't he mom? Yep. Oh my God. It was one of his biggest freakouts from seeing me come home ever. Like it was so cute. He was just like, you went to a photo shoot without me mom? What did it mean? And Lavender came running over too, she's like a little dog now. Yeah, sometimes she picks up doggy behaviors. It's pretty cute. She kindly shares her water with me when I forget mine. <laughs> Water? Yeah, excuse me, water. Like, it's gonna get to the point where she just doesn't even say anything. No, I was gonna, 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 gonna say next step is Yeah. <laughs> Here we're seeing some sped up footage of Molly working out with her trainer in the gym. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this just fun, cute little doggy vloggy. And uh, I would say goodbye from Ben and I, but instead it's goodbye from my unicorn friend and I. So hopefully Ben will be back with us soon. Um, but until then, I'm sending you guys all the love and again, appreciate all the thoughts, prayers, and good vibes you're sending to both Ben and I during this 
very emotional, challenging time and um, more fun content ahead. I have some really exciting stuff coming up in the next few weeks for you guys. So I hope you enjoy and I hope your pets enjoy the soothing, calming nature of the Cradle supplements. And again, go to cradlemypet.com slash molly for 20% off your order. And until next time, you can click over here for another cute Ben video or over here for another cute Ben video. Bye guys.